So good morning and welcome uh, to the weekend investing chat with weekend investors. Today we have uh, Mr. Anirudh Joshi from Pune, uh, who is a weekend investor, and uh, let's start our conversation with him. So welcome, Anirudh, and please tell us about yourself and uh, your investing journey. Yeah, good morning, Alok. Thanks for uh, providing the opportunity to express myself and uh, interacting with you. So. Uh, I have been uh, investing since uh, my first job, so it's around uh, 2005. So uh, it will be a bit elaborate. So I hope it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So uh, actually, my dad has been investing since 1990s. So uh, it's a uh, little bit in uh, blood. So, but uh, I haven't explored it fully up until now. So, like uh, every other salaried, per salaried person, uh, after my first job, I started investing in ELSS for tax saving purposes, ELSS mutual funds. Yep. So, then uh, after a couple of years, I bought a flat. So, I come from a middle class background. So, uh, you know, there is always a struggle of uh, uh, living in present and uh, then investing for future so i had uh, almost uh, hardly anything left for investment mm -hmm. after uh, purchasing flat because those emis and those things so mm -hmm. then uh, till uh, 2010 it was mostly related to going uh, paying emis and those things so i uh, started with few ma few of my friends uh, then i uh, first of my uh, major investment was uh, Coal India IPO. Okay. So it came in around 2010. I invested uh, uh, some decent amount. Uh, actually, I wasn't uh, part of that Reliance Power and those uh, fiasco in 2008. So I w read it later, but uh, that Coal India investment turned out well. Uh, so okay. I exited at uh, listing. Then, uh, first of uh, my stocks were. Uh, Maruti and a few of blue chip company so mm. but I didn't have much of a patience so after a few uh, hundreds of gains I exited it was trading around 800 to 1000 mm. at the time and then uh, later uh, actually I purchased a car so uh, Maruti Swift so I jokingly tell my wife after seven years I sold that car so I sold it at half price so I told you instead of that, if I would have purchased uh, shares of Maruti, it would have been almost uh, six, seven times by then. Uh, yeah, but so, you can't write the shares, right? I mean, you, you yeah, yeah that is, yeah, yeah, that is what <laughs> she told. But yeah, that's uh, part and parcel. So, so how did you how did you find out about weekend investing? Yeah, weekend investing. I uh, came across uh, in around 2016. Uh, actually, like I. Uh, in 2013, I switched from regular to direct mutual fund. Then okay. Uh, okay. around 2016 times, I started a uh, bit seriously because uh, I was done with my home loan and those stuff. I did some part payments because interest rates were quite high that time. Uh, I took Correct. it at around 11%. So my priority was to get debt free first and then start investment. So around 2016, I started uh, uh, investing after uh, demonetization and those things. So there was uh, that uh, India growth and those things that it will be like uh, uh, organized systematic. And then mm -hmm. uh, I started with uh, again few blue chips. So Titan mm -hmm. I purchased. So around okay. it was 314. But again I sold in a uh, couple of weeks uh, around mm -hmm. 320, some 15 20 rupees of gain. So later I decided I should be more systematic and I should be riding it for a longer duration. So hmm. around March 2017, uh, I invested in small cases. It wasn't uh, you, but the hmm. normal hmm. Uh, earlier small cases. Correct. So Correct. I came across that concept of small cases. So, okay. were so you were one of the very early adopters of small cases because I think small yes. case itself started in 2016-17. 
yes 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 so around uh, march 2017 i invested in uh, first of the small cases uh, it was uh, i think uh, uh, gst opportunities and smart okay. cities and okay so uh, yeah, i yeah. thought uh, with demonetization and everything streamlining uh-huh. so this kind of rural housing so i gradually scaled it up i had almost 20 small cases by end of 2017 so how many 20 20 20 20 small cases wow okay yeah two zero and few hundreds of stocks uh, actually yeah. i was uh, latter uh, wasn't rebalancing means i was just not yeah. selling i was just adding whatever okay. new comes okay so uh, because i had made that mistake of selling early so i thought i'll hmm. correct it i'll hold it for longer duration hmm. and uh, keep you were not rebalancing you were not selling stocks but only buying yeah yeah i was doing partial rebalancing yeah okay. i was only okay. buying and uh, not selling so okay. i get it fixed uh, with wasant and tho- those guys i were interacting so okay. be- because there there were many scripts which needs to be fixed in uh, small cases because uh, right. already 20 plus small cases so till 2017 uh, end or maybe 2018 jan fe it was quite well hmm. so in 2017 end around uh i uh, started uh, like that bitcoin also came into picture so cryptocurrency yeah, bitcoin peaked around 2017 december in those days yeah december january and yeah. meanwhile there was one uh, small case called canslim so it was momentum yes. investing so i yes. had invested in that as well so okay. uh, with that uh, i came across the momentum investing methodology okay. and okay. i started okay. following you on twitter so okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So around 2016, 17 times I am following you on Twitter. Okay. So then uh, cryptocurrency also I started uh, gradually with some hmm. small amount. Then it started booming, and then there was one tweet of uh, Peter Bat that in 42 years he has never seen this uh, kind of hmm. uh, log expansion hmm. and something something. so uh, based on that i scaled it up so okay. then my split was around 70 30 uh, equity 70% 30% cryptocurrency in okay. 2018 uh, feb uh, around it was all good both were around 25 30% up so i was yeah. Yeah. quite happy i think everything is sorted out now yeah. then uh, gradually both, both crashed yeah both crashed so the majority of small cases were having uh, i think uh, mid and small cap uh, majority of yeah. uh, those yeah. shares few of large caps then that uh, narration changed mostly people mm-hmm. started uh, looking towards large caps everything yes uh, yeah so i think index were around 11000 at that time so from then till uh around march 2020 it uh, went uh, 10 12% up nifty but uh, this small and mid cap kept going downward yeah. so around uh, say so august which, which which product did you invest in for weekend investing yeah so uh, in august 19 i thought everything was going down and i had okay. a decent portfolio so i thought i should be hedging my portfolio so i started with uh, stairs So, okay okay yeah so in august 2009 against stairs i was uh, amongst first uh, 250 mm-hmm. so yes, i got yes, yes. uh, yeah initial uh, yeah 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 pricing then uh, i started with that so there also i had few hiccups uh, like mm. in execution mainly i okay. couldn't uh, uh, do it uh, as uh, it was uh, plan like i missed uh, you remember you call it at uh, that sitaraman candle so mm. <laughs> that time we were short and then uh, we switched to long it went uh, very fast on that day so i just uh, uh, yeah. squared off i didn't add long so i missed yeah. that yeah. so after uh, say three so four any 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 small case also you took for weekend investing yeah yeah so i'm coming to that uh, okay okay so, yeah so uh, after uh, say Uh, three four months in around December two thousand nineteen, you tweeted that uh, so the stairs does well when you are in down cycle. So hmm. uh, it was a generic comment, and uh, yeah, you yeah. said you you were planning to triple your 
this thing so i thought uh, why uh, my portfolio is also decent so i also doubled my uh, mm. uh, number of lots of shares uh, mm. and then i mm. thought i'll follow it to the t so mm. in january onwards i was following it uh, as per uh, your signals and fully till no manual intervention so in uh, march it uh, very well paid off so i could hmm. ride uh, bank so march 2020 was one of the best months that we had i think yeah, yeah. so i could ride uh, full of uh, the bank nifty around 11 12000 yes. points we had uh, yes, that yes. correct uh, there was a day i think uh, it went uh, from uh, uh, there was circuit and it went up uh, 15% we didn't change signal so uh, i was a bit skeptical <laughs> but uh, still yeah. i uh, stayed with that and again uh, in uh, i think 3 4 days we yeah, came to yeah. same yeah. level and then uh, correct that was rest was correct. history so yeah correct. so uh, then uh, it was fully hedged so i was very happy with the stairs so mm-hmm. whatever losses i had it was fully covered with uh, whatever uh, minimum number of lots i had of nifty and bank nifty so then i thought uh, i should be having something more systematic because uh, by then my uh, this uh, portfolio was down around 30 40% uh, and okay. crypto was down around 80% so okay. <laughs> later on uh, i didn't do anything to crypto it recovered uh, after 3 uh, years just now so i squared it off at cost okay so, and uh, so you, after thing, three years it went up it went i think uh, three times the high of 2018 yeah but i was uh, again uh, diversified in uh, that as well it was not only bitcoin okay. there were okay. few okay. altcoins so few of them okay. went to zero so few okay. <laughs> went well so overall it got uh, nullified uh, now okay. so, i have so so your yeah yeah go ahead yeah now i am holding only few of those so uh, it's uh, at uh, no cost so that's mm-hmm. fine then okay. i squared off uh, whole of uh, my losses and i thought i will be turning more systematic so you were at uh, fully cash so i thought i'll wait uh, so that once uh, we start something then i'll mm-hmm. move to that so i added uh, gold i never had any allocation for gold before okay. so based okay. on your tweet i have uh, actually uh, since uh, say 6 uh, month or year prior i started uh, uh, before 2020 so i started with gold so that also paid off well uh, additional hedging and then uh, i thought i'll uh, switch to now uh, more systematic approaches so hmm. i Uh, i had uh, added a uh, few gtts to whatever uh, blue chips uh, that were remaining and then i added uh, my first uh, small case uh, ath uh, in uh, okay. march uh, to uh, sorry F, uh, june uh, 2020 and then okay. uh, initially i wasn't yeah initially i wasn't like uh, to be frank i wasn't very comfortable uh, paying yeah, yeah. Uh, because you were not having small cases i think you were having mi 30 50 those kind of products live were, live products were there and yeah. then uh, some uh, some small cases i think we started with three small cases so ltc yeah. next 200 mi all cap and uh, ath these yeah, were yeah. the three so small cases we started with yeah those live products i think it was bit costlier uh, for yeah yeah. Uh, yeah it was around 30000 or something yes, uh, yes. advisory fee so i was yes. not very sure do it was uh, in within i was feeling it will be working out well but still i was okay. <laughs> very sure so i didn't went for it and then i started with mi eth uh, okay. i took initially three month subscription uh, around hmm. 3000 or something it was hmm. so within a couple of days i think it got recovered so i thought i should be doing it more systematically so i think in uh, around again august 2020 or something there was again a big fall so around 5% yes. or something so yes. all most of my gtts were triggered so i was almost out of discretionary so okay. uh, i had uh, added few nifty bees at that time after selling my losses so i have added nifty bees i had gold bees and then uh, i had ath so i thought i should be adding again now all cap and uh, then uh, mi25 so i added okay. uh, those two things 
so very good and uh, yeah gradually now i have uh, scaled it up so majority of uh, my investment is now systematic way very good so, very good yeah so major uh, hiccups what i have faced uh, was like initially i told i was uh, booking the winners early like i wasn't mm. having patience or i wasn't sure like whether i should uh, keep it or uh, whether i should book it so it was getting booked uh, within say 5 to 10% and then mm. later i thought i should hold but then it uh, backfired <laughs> i hold it uh, so there were many uh, stocks you might be remembering like syntex uh, it was yes. trading around 100 then they 100%. had that dip emerger yes. so syntex industry syntex plastic so it was very good like uh, it was almost tripled for me initially with that yes. uh, investment but later on it went to 1 rupee and yeah. uh, <laughs> almost 99 percent of wealth is eroded so that is uh, again i had dhfl yes bank through that uh, various small cases i had few mm-hmm. good stocks few bad stocks but overall okay. it was getting uh, nullified so okay. that is so that is where i so, it, so you did you did not make uh, much money out of those uh, the the uh, original 20 small cases that you had yeah it was decent but with uh, what i had followed the strategy it didn't work out well because right. i was just uh, holding on holding. and uh, okay. holding in definite so, period so na- so neither discretionary work for you nor uh, you know uh, some of the other small cases where you added your own strategy that worked yeah for yeah you. yeah i tried that is what i tried almost uh, all uh, sorts of investment i had a uh, few Uh, debt fund as well so okay. uh, like uh, after uh, this thing uh, my loan was cleared i have uh, initially thought i'll put some money in voluntary provident fund because that was the safest option around 9% uh, interest free mm-hmm. return so for one year i have added but um, in around uh, 2016 budget i think uh, they decided they will put uh, some taxation on uh, that uh, withdrawal uh, okay. it was withdrawal uh, that uh, mm. uh, after one month they have withdrawn that uh, notice but again it, it got stopped so it was kind of so now that you have experienced sort of all sorts of investing uh, systematic non systematic discretionary non discretionary trading hedging uh, what are your learnings so what would you like to advise people who are coming into the market first time who are new to it how they should go yeah uh, f- major mistakes what everyone does is like uh, you never know uh, you can enter at any price you are not sure how to exit because either you exit very fast or if uh, otherwise you hold it for a very long duration and then keep uh, down so you are either so. You are either exiting too early or you are exiting too late yes 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 right so that is what exit is uh, one thing and uh, once you have uh, again uh, if you have very diversified portfolio that is again also a risk like uh, uh, few of them are going down few of go- them going up so it uh, nullifies it and if mm. you have very concentrated bets and if uh, it goes very wrong then uh, you will be in soup so mm. uh, either ways it's a uh, bit uh, tricky so once you have an advisor it's uh, more or less sorted out so as you have uh, later on suggested like if you have a 5 lakhs portfolio and uh, fees around 10 to 15000 so it would be 2 to 3% of uh, the overall investment so yeah. if you are getting uh, uh, realistic now, now this is uh, i think euphoric times we are getting 100% plus mm. returns yeah. in small cases but <laughs> that won't last forever so yeah. at least if you are getting double digit return and uh, then uh, with a 2 to 3% advisory fee still it's uh, uh, reasonable uh, per se i think uh, so that is one thing and then you are uh, more or less sorted out so you need not to worry bother uh, mm-hmm. each time uh, watching so you daily can, you market a lot of uh, free time once yeah, you have you- allocated Yes. then uh, at least you are not worried about it all day and you need not sort of uh, you know be uh, fidgety yeah. about it that you know i have to do something now 
Yeah, correct. Or, uh, Now I just need to spend uh, five minutes on Monday morning. If there are any rebalancing, I just uh, need to do that. Fantastic. Even uh, yeah, this uh, stairs also. You set some alarms uh, like uh, different correct. ringtone. I correct. have with it. So then, if you have any trade, that's fine. Otherwise, at times if it's trending, then we don't right. get trades for correct. almost couple of weeks. So. It's quite. Uh, you can focus on your core things, your jobs yes, or yes, yes. your business, other things, and uh, still. So any, any now we are coming to an end to uh, our time on this. So any uh, feedback, uh, any you know critical, constructive feedback or suggestion, or you know you can point out things uh, that you may want to see improve in products, services. anything that you would like to you know give us feedback on that more more than welcome so, yeah so whatever you are doing it's fantastic so you can keep doing that uh, so i don't have uh, services you are uh, the best like you reply within few hours of receiving mail if not Thank minutes you. yeah so that side there is no scope uh, i have <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, uh, apart from this, I have a few investment in uh, this uh, Nasdaq uh, 100 Motilal Oswal okay. fund okay. and 100. So it uh, is hedging uh, like against our currency as well. So correct, 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 correct. So correct. In future, if uh, zero da starts with some US equities and those things, so I would uh, like if you can uh, start a small case with yeah, that. Yeah, we will. Well. We will definitely work on this this year itself. So I think we are getting a lot of requests from various people. So we yeah, will be working on this uh, is, uh, yeah scalability and uh, because the markets are quite big and uh, yes yes it, uh, yes it would be a, a prom uh, diversification as well correct so correct correct right. definitely 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 so uh, we'll uh, we are at the end of our uh, weekend chat with uh, anirudh so thank you anirudh so much you've taken out uh, great time on the saturday morning for us and given your uh, you know experience and feedback for fellow users and to us so thank you so much and uh, wish you all the best thank you thank you alok for providing me the opportunity yeah okay. wish you all the thank best you. for your future okay. endeavors yeah, thanks thank bye thank you bye